Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Let me invite you to take a Bible. Turn with me to Psalm number 32, verse 8. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together, have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, hallelujah. What better way to get a new day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God? Well, friend, over in Psalm 32, verse number 8, the Bible says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Today, friend, I want to talk to you about patience. You know, perhaps you don't know what to do today. There's a problem that consumes your mind, but you cannot see a clear way forward. If you don't know what to do, the only thing you can do is to seek God and to wait for Him to reveal to you what He needs for you to do. But you see, friends, we don't have patience to do that. Uh, We have to struggle with that. It doesn't mean that we sit and do nothing, but rather that we persevere by actively anticipating that the Lord will respond in His perfect timing. Now, to wait is in an effective manner, you should answer some important questions in your own heart. Friend, the first thing you need to do is ask yourself, do you believe that God is indeed all-powerful, all-wise, and ultimately good and loving toward you and has good intentions completely for you? Do you trust that when you ask the Lord for wisdom, that he reveals it to you willingly? And do you have confidence that even if you cannot see the benefits in a trial, that your loving Heavenly Father will eventually bring good from the trial? Romans 8, 28 says, For we know that all things work together for good. Friend, it doesn't mean that all things are going to be good, but that God will take all things and work them together for our good. My friend, if you believe these things, uh, then you shouldn't have fear. You should rest in the fact that God will show you what to do when the time is right. And then pray constantly. Lord, I'm just going to trust you and uh, trust you to show me the way that I should go. And friend, realize that your hope is in Jesus because Jesus is the one who constantly and will always provide his guidance for you in this world. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much that you provide your guidance for us and help us to persevere in uh, patience in waiting on you for your timing is a perfect time. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I do pray that you'll do just that and then go out into your world and do your best to make a difference in it. Share the gospel of Christ with someone. Uh, You know, your life can be the only Bible that some will ever read, so let others see Jesus in you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.